Hi everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. My name is Dana and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to just share with you how I'm going to put a simple uh, Easter tablescape together. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I like very simple decor. I don't like it to be over the top. Um, so it's not going to be, you know, it's probably going to be a pretty short, pretty quick video, but I just wanted to show you how I would do an Easter, or how I will be doing my Easter tablescape. Um, I was going to do a video first showing you where I've decorated for Easter, kind of like an Easter home tour, but it wouldn't be the whole home because I don't, I don't go too crazy for Easter, but I do add some decor in. But I figured I would do this video first so that when I do do the kind of Easter decor tour, you can see how it ties in with the rest of the decor in the house. So I figured I would put this together first. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use and then you guys can watch me try to put it together. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do the centerpiece at all. So I have a few different items that I may or may not be using or I may even be grabbing something from somewhere else. So this is an idea of what I think I'm going to use and then we'll put it together and I'll chat with you guys at the end. Here are the items that I may or may not be using in my home or I'm sorry, in my Easter tablescape. So I will definitely be using these plates. These are the plates that I picked up at Pier 1. And I found this adorable table runner. And I was going to make something similar. This was also at Pier 1. And honestly, it was like $14. And the material for me to make something similar was around $12. So to me, it was worth, and I'm not a sewer, so who knows what it would have turned out like. So for me, it was worth paying the two extra dollars to buy this. Um, I just have some basic white napkins. And then for the centerpiece, I'm definitely going to be using my big wooden bowl back there. Um, and then here is just some greenery I may be using. These pink flowers, these white little flowers, um, perhaps some lavender, perhaps some lamb's ear. I'm not positive yet. One of these two bunnies may go in there or... Um, I may be using my little egg tree. I got this a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I have some little Easter eggs that I'll probably decorate around with this also. So let me just show you how I'm going to put this together. Like I said, this should be a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to give you an idea of a simple Easter tablescape.
So here's what I came up with for a very super simple Easter tablescape. I think it's adorable. I tried the brown bunny first and I instantly liked it. Um, I think that the little moss bunny would have been too short because I needed some height on the table. And then I think that egg tree, well, it wasn't going to fit in this bowl because I did try um, just to set it when I was moving everything off. I set it on the, the wooden bowl and it wouldn't fit at all. So that wouldn't have worked regardless. But I think it's just so cute. I love these black and white plates. And then I forgot to tell you, so these little chargers I had gotten years ago were these little placemats I got years ago at Target, but I've seen them all over. I see them at Target. I see them at Hobby Lobby. And I forgot to pull those out when I was originally showing you everything I was going to use. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like the brown, but I think it ties in the brown bowl and the brown bunny. And I love these plates um, that I found at Pier 1. Love the plaid ones. And then I just like the that I can use the plaid ones all year round and just put different top plates on. And I love the simple little sketch bunny plates from Pier 1. And then this table runner, because it has the two little buffalo check bunnies on either side, I didn't need to put anything on either side of the wooden bowl. I didn't want it to be too crowded or too cluttered looking. I think that this centerpiece came out cute. Those little eggs from the Target dollar spot are probably one of the best finds that I've seen there in a long time. They're heavy and I like the pink, the pinkish purple, and then the other ones look like wood. And they are adorable so I like the kind of pink and white subtle pink and white theme so let me know what you guys think it's just simple and that's just the way I decorate for some people this might be boring to me I think it's just enough so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and I will my next video should be my Easter decor um, tour so I hope you guys have a great day and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video